Welcome to Insta Legal. Amid COVID-19 outbreak, one of the most important issues which have started coming up is with regard to parties signing a prenuptial agreement before getting into a marriage relationship. Now, the parties during these corona times are being married in a very hushup and a very small affair. So, what is the validity of such agreements in India? The main question which has arose is whether this prenuptial agreement which is being signed between the parties, does it have any legal force in India? The question is, can I ask my fiancé to sign a prenuptial agreement? A prenuptial agreement is a contract entered between the parties intended to get married, laying down the possible settlement for future in case of death, divorce or separation. It not only includes the settlement of assets and liabilities, but it also lays down provisions with regard to the custody of the children as well if the parties have any children at the time of possible separation between the parties. Now, as per the law, Hindu Marriage Act does not provide for legality of prenuptial agreement in clear terms because it would be immoral as per the Hindu philosophy because under the Hindu laws, any marriage is not considered to be a contract. It is a sacrament. So when the Supreme Court was faced with the question of validity of such agreements being entered by the parties, the Supreme Court has clearly held that prenuptial agreements are against public policy and hence they are void. It has also been observed that any agreement which sought to override the rights provided under personal laws cannot be held to be valid. This rights provided under personal laws would, re, uh, would reflect towards the maintenance if anything contrary to the right of maintenance of a woman is entered into by way of these prenuptial agreements. The Supreme Court has come heavily upon it and has not made such agreements to be a valid agreement. Now, even if these agreements, when people are aware that these prenuptial agreements are invalid and they have no legal force in India, why they are still being made and the parties are willfully and consently with total consent are signing these agreements. Let's understand why it is now becoming important for making a prenuptial agreement. Because a prenuptial agreement would lay down the entire assets of the financial position of both the parties at the time of entering into the marriage alliance. This would lead to a clear understanding between the intended couples for future. So if any question arises in future between the parties, at least they are aware about their financial assets at the time when the marriage was performed. It also helps in declaration of assets at the time of marriage because that would be beneficial to save future litigation in case of divorce, cases of domestic violence, etc. For example, if any false case of domestic violence is being filed or any dowry harassment case is being filed and your financial assets of both the parties have already been laid down and there is a clear government that there is nothing exchanged between the parties in this prenuptial agreement, then the, that can become a corroborative evidence to save the husband from any false cases being filed by the wife. Further, settlement of children custody in a peaceful manner can take place because you would have already decided beforehand as to in future if there is any dispute between the parties who would be liable to take care of the children. Then it is basically a win-win situation for both the parties and that basically helps reducing the conflicts if any arising in future saving majorly your time, your money and your energy. So even if these agreements are not enforceable per se and not valid per se as per the Hindu marriage laws, but under the Muslim laws or the Christian laws where the marriage is not a sacrament but a contract, such agreements, for example, in Muslim law, a nikah nama is still existing and are found to be valid if they are not against the public policy. Thank you very much.